Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and today is the tips, tricks, and techniques uh, day for our tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to tie bows using just your fingers. Now, as you guys know, I have struggled for years to tie a good bow. I know some of you do too, because some of you have left me comments letting me know that you have the same problems that I do. But these are some bows that I just tied using my fingers. That's a double bow. As you can see it's got two little things on each side. And then this is a single one. You can make them as large or as small as you want. But I'm going to show you how to do these. This is a quick and easy tutorial. We'll start out with a single one. This is just a little piece of scrap ribbon that I have. And you're just going to use two fingers for a smaller bow and for a single bow. So you're going to start by laying the ribbon over your two fingers, just letting about, you know, about, what, two inches of ribbon lay across there. Just depends on how much of a tail that you want, because this is going to be one of your tails right here. So I'm just going to lay about that on there. I'm going to hold it with my thumb. I'm going to bring it across my thumb, and then I'm going to go down through my two fingers. And then on the back side, I'm going to make sure that it comes behind that ribbon. Then you're going to bring it back up through your two fingers, and you're go, going to go underneath this part. You're not going to go down this way. You're going to go to the back side and go underneath it, and then come back on this side. This is a slick ribbon, so it's a little bit more difficult, but you can do it. Now, as you start to tighten this up, you can bring your fingers together, you can tighten it whichever way you want. Just pull it back and forth and tighten it. And there is your bow. Now, you can adjust your bow. You can pull on this one and adjust it to make it a little bit smaller if you want to. Pull that one and then pull on this one. We'll make it a little bit smaller. And then if you just clip the tails, then you have a perfect little bow. It has a cute little front on it. So there is your bow. Quick and easy. And it's just using your fingers. You don't have to buy any special tools to do that with. Okay, so that is the single one. Now we're going to do a double one. And I'm going to use this ribbon so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, you're going to lay your tail across your hand like that. I'm going to leave a little bit more of a tail on this one. I'm going to hold it with my thumb. I'm going to come all the way around four fingers, across my thumb, go all the way around again before I go through here. Then I'm going to go through there, make sure I'm going on the back side of my ribbons. Pull that down, come back through here, go underneath, let me get this ribbon straight, go underneath that one that's across your thumb, and then start tightening it down. Now as I tighten it down, I take my little finger out, because I like to get it adjusted. So take your little finger out, and then just kind of adjust it as you want. And you can have it to where the bottom ones are a little bit longer, the top ones are a little shorter, or you can even them all up by just pulling on this tail. But that is a cute little double bow. Now when you get used to doing this, when you practice it a few times, you'll know exactly how much ribbon to cut so that you don't waste any of your ribbon. But... As you can see, there is a cute bow. It's got the little tails at the bottom, or the little bows at the bottom, a little bit longer than the ones at the top. And if you want to tighten this part, just pull back and forth on that a little bit. It tightens that up. So let's see if you can see that. Let me put it on a piece of white paper. Maybe you can see it better. There we go. So that is quick and easy 
how to make cute little bows just using your fingers. So let's do that one more time. So let's do one more. I'm gonna lay it across like this. Let's just do a single one with this one and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna lay it across two fingers. I'm gonna hold it and I'm not gonna need a lot for this one. So I'm gonna cut that off, go back between my fingers and then come back up. I'm behind that ribbon there. Come back up through over the top over the top of that one that's on my thumb make sure that you come across there and then pull it tight and I just rock it back and forth And then you can just adjust it as you want, as big or as small as you want. So there again, put it on a piece of paper. There again is your little ribbon. And you can keep adjusting, but the, the part that I like about this the most is the tails go the same way. So I can adjust this part up here to make it like I want but I never have been able to get the tails to go the same way just trying to tie a ribbon the regular way. My tails would always, one of them would be up here and one down here, but this way they both go the same direction. So there you go, there is your bow. Here's your double bows and then here's your little single silver. So quick and easy and it's just something that you can do using your little fingers and you don't have to drag out any special tools. And if you struggle like I do in tying bows, then this is the best way to go about it. I have found a new way to tie my bows now. And you can do this with, you can also do this with a fork. I will um, try to show you how to do this with a fork. I don't have a fork right here right now, I don't think. Let me look. Nope, I don't have a fork, but I will try to show you how to do this using just a fork. You can use the different size forks. You can even get some of those big plastic ones and use those, or you can use just a regular dinner fork. But you can use do this with a fork too. But what I like about doing it with your hand is you always have your hand with you. <laughs> Sometimes I forget the fork like I have right now. But that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Tips, Tricks, and Technique Tuesday. And we will talk to you guys later. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.